Now at 11, the Stoughton community is mourning the loss of a high school student killed in Mattapan. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Julie McDonald. Police tell us the teenage victim and another person were sitting in a car on Gladeside Avenue when they were shot. As WBZ's Laura Hayfley reports, investigators say this wasn't a random attack. The Stoughton High community in mourning tonight after learning one of their classmates was shot and killed. The startling news heartbreaking for the victim's family and the friends who knew him. Christian Cousins, a rising senior at Stoughton High School, won't be joining his classmates in the fall. According to police officials, he was shot and killed in Boston Friday afternoon. It's just really sad because he had a long life ahead of him. Students like Jalen, a classmate of Christian's, stunned to see an email from school officials Saturday announcing his death, writing in part, It is never easy to deal with the loss of a student, especially under these circumstances. Our thoughts are with Christian's family, friends and teachers, as well as the whole Stoughton High community. Christian's family providing WBZ with these photos of a young man friends say was kind and well liked. It was definitely like very heartbreaking because I did know him like I did go to school with him and he was a nice kid. He was such a good kid did have a lot of friends. According to the Boston Police Department, cousins and a female Stoughton High student were sitting in a car at the corner of Gladeside Avenue and Donwood Terrace in the Mattapan neighborhood of Boston. Both had been shot. The female injured by the bullets. Christian was killed. This is not a random attack, but as always, we're asking the public for their help. Neighbors demanding answers for the victims and their families. When it's so close to the home or so close to your, you know, it hurts. Somebody will be held accountable for, the, for this, this crime. That's the question. Stoughton High is providing students and staff with grief counseling as the community mourns the young life lost. They did say that there was guidance counselors and I think it's good. He was very young and he was such a good kid. Police have not identified a potential suspect. They are asking for the public to help. If you know anything, you are asked to contact police immediately and you can do so anonymously. In Stoughton, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.